Hello, I'm here to discuss the next example problem in module two. And there's only going to be two example problems. And that's the uh, example problem uh, six simulation. This is going back to the four next again, but you're going to be processing your inputs via a message box, not the actual form, but a, me but a message box. And, in, and the message box will then dump the name into the form and when it meets a criteria let, let's say as done then the loop will stop and will exit so um this is where you're going to submit your um work once you're done right here i'm going to the advanced programming web resource page to find the activity so i'm in module two now and i'm scrolling down and you can you can see then the final example problem Okay, and so this is just uh, using the notes up above. I'll, I'm gonna let you know. I'm using the content up above with the message box to build on this exit, uh, the, having um, the four next with an exit exit um, out of it. So if you can right click and open new, as I now just review the web page of the assignment. Okay, and this the first paragraph and the concepts right here kind of highlight. Uh, the the purpose of the exit and how an exit can be used uh, you know if it if if the word for example done again this is this is um, this is uh, using the console application methods and, and approaches because you can see here there's a, um, a statement console write or enter the name or type the word done so if, if the word done is typed, I mean, you could type 100 names. This is an, a, a loop that'll continue the going. You can type a many name until it reads the word done. As you can see here, if name equals done, then the program will then exit the, the loop. Okay, so taking consideration on, on that approach, uh, go back to the notes on the message box to gain this. So if I scroll down again, um, are now reviewing the form. I am not going to open up a, a Visual Basic program. By now we did it in example number five. We called it example number five. This is, I want you to give it, give it, a, give it a name called example six, okay? So you're gonna be building a form that doesn't have many, um, many controls on it, okay? And so uh, when building the form, even though this says form one right now, give it a name like example six, loop or something, okay? Uh, you can see list list of five people. So during runtime, um, okay, I, I would like to see at least that you have processed in five people's names, okay? Obviously you can type in one name and then hit done and the program will exit, okay? Obviously you can type in 10 names, but sometimes, I mean, that, then that act, this active scroll bar should occur. So you're taking the same approach approach here to, like you did example number five, that with the multi, uh, the text box should be multi uh, property, sets of true, scroll bar, vertical, okay? And so the text box is um, um, property, it, it should be set to blank, which which it normally is, okay? So the form, make sure you set the properties, FRM, maybe example six, call these, um, you know, output, TXC output, uh, uh, BTN event one, BTN exit, you know, you know, logistics, not many controls here. This is not a very difficult example problem, okay? So if I teardrop myself down to the code, just reviewing the code again, again, your example problem should have the form nested so you can easily log in. But you notice how I call this BTN1 and then BTN2 down here, BTN1 and then BTN2. So uh, this is a code right here that's going to then look a little different than above, okay? <clears throat> it's actually going to give a, a number count here as well, okay? So it's, it's asking for somebody's name and during runtime, when you hit done, it'll it'll exit. So um, if you wanna try one person's name for the test and then it process it, then hit done to exit to see what happens. And then when you run it again a second time, add more names and then hit done, just play around with it, okay? So, um, you know, understand that you being creative to these are the minimum controls here. I think you need to have your names on the form. So make an effort to put your name on the form still. So when you're processing in the flyer box, when you're turning this in, load up a Word document, very similar to example number five, put your name at the top, put maybe example uh, five, uh, six, 
form, come down a couple times, example six code, the two screenshots, one right above those title and submit it in this uh, Canvas example problem six Dropbox. It should be a word. You save the word document as example six. I say it down here. Uh, say, save the word document as example six, uh, first and last name with the screenshots on them. And then you're going to upload those to uh, Canvas Dropbox number six. So this should uh, complete an overview of um, this example problem.